Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're putting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> I know, you guys should know me already, so I'm not gonna apologize for it. You're not getting a sorry. <laughs> um, yes, my Christmas tree came today. I ordered it and I got a Balsam Hill Christmas tree. I'm super excited because you guys know, number one, I love Christmas and Okay, I have the garland up. I didn't do a video on my garland because I put it up and it's perfect. But FYI, I got that from Costco. I think it's sold out online, but I got it at Costco for like $50. And I'm assuming you can find it at the warehouse possibly, but it looks amazing and I'm so happy about it. Um, but yeah, I didn't do a video on that because I had it set up all perfectly and I'm like, oh man, if I take this down, it's not that I won't get it back, but it took me a while to do it. <laughs> so, yes, I will put that information below on where I got the garland at. Um, so, anyway, today we are putting up the tree, which is the best part. And I got the Vermont Signature Collection Stratford Spruce. It is seven and a half feet. It's a narrow tree because, as you guys know, as you guys have seen my apartment, I have a small apartment, so I love full trees, and I thought about getting a full tree, and I said, man, probably won't look right in here, so I got a more narrow tree, not a slim tree, just because I'm not a big fan of the slim trees, and neither is my husband, but those of you who guys who like the slim trees, go for it. And I got seven and a half feet because I, I wanted the imposing view, especially I'm a tall person, and I tried a six and a half foot tree, and it just seems a little small for me. I don't feel the... Look at it, it's Christmas. Yeah, so whatever. Um, this tree, I got it unlit because I wanted to add my own LED lights. Uh, normally, a Balsam Hill gives you the ability to have the LED lights. With this one, they don't. They only allow you to have the clear incandescent lights. And I wanted LED lights, so I got some from Restoration Hardware. You guys know I love Restoration Hardware. And I will be adding those once they arrive because they are not here yet. <laughs> but yes, so this tree is from their most realistic version. So it has more PE instead of PVC. The PVC is what you normally see on traditional trees. And I am, it's a true needle foliage that they use that makes it look real which is exciting and so it has true needle foliage 84 percent with the real looking needles and then they add 16 percent of the regular traditional uh looking needles for fullness so yeah let's let's get into it shall we
All right, guys, I hope that helped you putting up your tree, even if it's not a balsam or if it is a balsam, that helps you figure out how to do things, what to do, what not to do, or whatever, or you just enjoy watching it because it was cool. It took me a long time. <laughs> I, it, was, it didn't take me five hours, but it, it took me a, a, a good hour and a half, and I think I still need to fluff it a little bit more, but those gloves... Those gloves are everything. Once I forgot to put on the gloves, I'm like, ouch. I, I was like, oh, where's my gloves? <laughs> they gave me two sets of gloves. And so, yeah, I hope that was helpful to you guys, uh, On especially if it helps you how to pull out the tree and make it look fluffier. And I'm just so happy it's Christmas. And I'm so happy that I'm sharing this time with you guys because I get so excited about it. And I just want to tell everybody and everything and everyone who will listen. So I guess that's why you have a YouTube channel. YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just slurring my words. Anyway, have an amazing day. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. And I'm going to say it even though it's not after Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye. I love it. Oh my gosh. It turned out good. 